So hi guys, uh, welcome. Today we're going to be looking at uh, cardiac arrest. And uh, cardiac arrest may come as a result of asystole, ventricular fibrillation, and cardiovascular collapse in the extreme arterial hypertension. So there's absence of heart sounds and uh, both the carotid and the femoral pulses cannot be felt. And there may be associated apnea and cyanosis. So this cessation of circulation requires immediate treatment. And as a result, if you encounter somebody who's had a cardiac arrest, uh, the first thing you're supposed to do, so there's optimal chances of survival. Uh, these are achieved with initiation of uh, cardiopulmonary resuscitation within four minutes of the arrest. And when advanced cardiac life supporting, including uh, intubation, intravenous medication, and defibrillation is initiated within eight minutes. So how do we manage in case uh, we find a patient with uh, cardiac arrest? So first of all, straight up, we go to airway. So you make sure the airway is clear. Uh, you do that immediately. So you can aspirate the, if the patient has vomited, if there are any secretions, you can remove them with your finger or using a handkerchief. So ventilation is uh, very important. So the patient has to get oxygen. So you can do this by mouth to mouth. Uh, you can do it uh, via using a bag or a mask device so that you ensure that the thoracoabdominal motion is present. So next you check for circulation and for circulation you, you can massage the cardiac uh, region. So you carry out external cardiac massage compressions by applying appropriate pressure over the sternum. So one breath uh, should be interposed between four to five cardiac compressions. So this is usually given straight up to the sternum. So defibrillation uses standard defibrillators delivering 200 to 360 joules. And uh, by pass peak uh, defibrillators delivering 150 to 200 joules. So drugs that are given here, you give uh, intravenous adrenaline, one milligram bolus, you repeat every three to five minutes. Or you can also give a suppressing 40 IU by intravenous push or a neoderol 300 milligrams in 20 to 30 ml of normosaline. So through investigations and treatment of the underlying cause, it should be actually be undertaken to rule out what is the cause of the, of the cardiac risk. So for the defibrillation process, this is done under admission. So standard defibrillators are that deliver 200 to 360 joules. Uh, also, by pacific uh, defibrillators delivering 150 to 200 joules. You also give uh, intravenous uh, epinephrine 1 milligram push. Repeat every 3 to 5 minutes. You can also give vasopressin 40 IU by intravenous push or amiodarol 300 milligrams in 20 to 30 minutes of normal saline. So, after that, investigations are done to rule out the underlying cause of the cardiac arrest. So at any given point, you encounter a patient in a hospital setup or anywhere in an open setup, you encounter a patient who's had a cardiac arrest. Kindly, at that point, whatever we've learned today, we may be able to assist our patient to recover life before uh, help can come to us. Thank you. I hope we've learned something.